Grab these two things from a thrift store to make the most beautiful Christmas decor. Grab some glass light shades and scrub them clean. Once clean, I pulled cotton rope through the shade and tied it in a double knot. I did this for the other side, leaving enough between the two shades to tie it together. Then I separated the strands underneath the knot and used a macrame brush to smooth it out. A dog brush works great too. I trimmed with scissors and used hot glue to attach some faux greenery and pine cones, tied the top and hung it on my front door for beautiful holiday bells. For the second project, I grabbed three plastic pudding containers and used a hacksaw to cut the stem off. I scuff sanded them with medium grit sandpaper and spray painted the inside and out white. Once dried, I spray painted metallic gold and let it dry. Then I scrunched up brown paper, plastic bags also work great for this, and I dabbed it in black spray paint and then onto the pudding cups. While that was drying, I stained a junior tongue depressor and wooden curtain rod dark brown and wiped the extra off with a paper towel. When everything was dry, I drilled a hole through the top of the tongue depressor and put the jute through and then connected it with the wood ring by wrapping the jute around it. I hot glued the ring to the pudding cup, strung them through a driftwood stick, and now I have vintage inspired bells for a fraction of the cost. I hope this inspired you to create DIY thrifted bells. Grab some cheap Christmas bells from the Dollar Tree, then cut off all the greenery and ribbon attached, leaving just the plain bells behind. Take the bells outside and spray paint them black. Let them dry a full 24 hours or overnight. Then come back over them with a metallic gold spray paint. Don't cover the bells completely with the gold. Let some of the black shine through. This gives them more of an antique look. Then let them dry again and add some twine to the bells. I tied them on different lengths so the finished result looks like layered bells hanging down. Attach to your Christmas mantle and enjoy these easy and cheap do-it-yourself bells. To begin my project, I started with some mini terracotta pots. So I took four for this project and I began painting them with DecoArts craft acrylic paint in the shade white. I made sure that I painted the entire surfaces of the pots. So I wanted to paint the outside as well as the inside and the bottom of the pots because all this will be seen. Next, after the paint was dry, I did two solid coats and then letting them dry, I came in with some Country Chic Paint Metallic Accent Cream in the shade Pocket Watch and I rubbed it all over the outside surfaces of the bells. So the Pocket Watch Metallic Accent Cream is really easy to use. You just have to paint it on and then you can wipe it away with just a clean piece of paper towel or a clean painting rag. And then it just leaves this metallic accent gold finish, a very light, subtle gold finish on the outside of my bells. Once that was dry, I came in with some sandpaper and I just sanded off the edges a little bit. Next, I took some canvas cotton cord and I cut off three pieces that were about 25 inches in length. And then I took the three pieces and at the top, I tied them in a loop fashion. So I pulled them around in a loop and tied a knot and this will be a hanger for my bells. Then I took about the first nine inches of the rope and I braided it down just to add a little decorative finish. And I finished the end of the braid off with a knot. Then I took my bells and to jazz them up a little bit, I added some crochet ribbon around the bottom of the bell just at the edge of the pot and then I hot glued in some embellishments so a little bit of greenery a small pine cone and some pearl beads just to finish off my bells once this was complete I added them to my cotton string I did two on one string and then the remaining two bells on their own string so to do this I just tie a knot anywhere where the bell starts and that'll keep it from slipping down I did as well add some jingle bells by knotting them onto the string and holding them under the bells with the knot and this actually makes these bells make sound. When complete I hung them here in my home in my nice Christmas display and I love how easy these bells were to make and how they just add that rustic farmhouse Christmassy feel to my decor. To start this project I picked up six of these mixing bowls from Dollar Tree. And we're gonna take a Sharpie, but what we're gonna do is we're gonna create some T's across the bowls. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and start with, with this guy. And you can decide what width you want. I'm just gonna draw all the way across, coloring in. And we're 
going to come down to a certain point on this part and we are going to create a circle. It's okay if this isn't perfect. Trust me, when this project is over, you're not going to be able to tell. All right, so we're going to do the same thing all the way around and we're going to do the same exact thing on these two smaller bowls. So when I'm done, uh, we'll be back to move on to the next step. So now that my the bottom of my uh, stainless steel bowls are finished with the paint, the paint's still kind of drying, but we don't really need to wait to be able to do this step. I'm going to take my other three bowls that I have and we're going to start gluing them together. We're going to take my hot glue gun and we're going to put it on the rim. Okay, and then we're going to piece these two together. All right, so we're going to let that dry and we're going to do the next couple. Okay, so now I am taking rope. I actually um, got, I believe it, uh, jute rope. Um, I went ahead and cut a piece just to show you kind of what I'm going to be focusing on first. But these are going to go on top of my bells. Um, so they're going to live here. So I want to make sure that it's long enough so I have enough space to kind of overlap them. Flipping it over, we're going to add the hot glue. Let that sit for a second and then we're going to add more to it just to make sure it's completely, it's not going anywhere. And we're going to do this to the other two. So we're measuring it out. I kind of do a little overlap just to make sure I'm cutting a long enough piece. Believe it or not, scissors has worked really well for this. We're actually going to be adding decor pieces next to this project to cover up the rope where it's glued. So don't worry if this gets a little bit messy. All right, and we're gonna finish gluing the rope and then we're gonna move on to the next step. We are going to add some decor. I actually found, I found all of this stuff at the Dollar Tree. So I was very excited to be able to like do a one-stop shop for this project. Um, so yeah, so what we're gonna do is we are going to hot glue the decor onto the bell at like so. All right, so now the step I'm gonna be taking is I'm actually gonna cover up this part. We covered it on one side. Uh, now I wanna cover it on the back. So I'm gonna take this little holly sprig that I got from Dollar Tree as well in another um, arrangement that I cut off and I'm gonna take more hot glue and I'm gonna just be nestling it in so that the glue patch essentially will be covered up and it'll look really finished and nice from any angle. So now that that's there, we're gonna let it dry and we're gonna move on to our next step, which will be adding more rope and then we're gonna put it outside. Okay, so what I do recommend with this project is I recommend that wherever you're gonna be hanging it, I recommend that you measure out how long you want um, as you can tell, these are bells, how you, how long you want these bells to hang. Now I'm doing a set and I want them to kind of be staggered, but I do want the shorter bells to be up a little higher than my bigger bell. So I'm, I pre-measured my, my length on my mailbox, which is where this is going to live. You want to make sure it's hanging the right way. Now I am doing a little bit of hot glue, but I'm going to be taking black electrical tape. I'm going to be reinforcing the rope with black electrical tape. So we're cleanly gonna be going around. All right, so now that that is reinforced, I'm just making sure that it's nice and secure. All right, because this piece is actually gonna be up towards the top. We're gonna gather these together, so don't really worry about this. We're gonna be covering it up. So now that I have gotten all the lengths and all of my rope reinforced, we're gonna take burlap ribbon and we're gonna tie it around. So you wanna give yourself a little bit of extra, uh, extra length um, depending on where you're gonna tie it. I'm tying, like I said, I'm tying mine in my mailbox, so I wanna give myself enough um, room there. So I'm gonna give it a cut around here. And so I'm gonna go around these black pieces. And we're just gonna tie a regular old knot, double knot it. Actually, I'm probably gonna go around it again just to make sure that we can cover this up. Okay. So now that that's done, we're gonna be taking one of these cute little ribbons that I also got from Dollar Tree. So we're adding our bow to our ribbon, our burlap ribbon. Just doing a little twist tie here, and then I'm gonna knot over it. And there you have it. My mailbox sleigh bells are complete. I hope you enjoyed this project. It was really inexpensive and easy to make, perfect for the holidays. I hope you feel inspired to create your own. 
Thank you so much for watching Home Talk, and I will see you next time. Bye. Thank mm -hmm. you.